Well, um, <laughs> my state of mind at the moment is a, a mix of many, many emotions and many things. One of relief, because I just finished the rehearsal and it went pretty well. And so, uh, but still, part of my mind is stressed about tonight's concert, and part of my mind is so happy to be be back in Verbier. This is my tenth year in a row, so it's like coming home uh, to, to this beautiful place. So uh, I've got a lot of things on my mind, but generally I'm in, I'm in good shape. Well, uh, I think I have the perfect job um, because I like to live, experience as many places as possible. And, and uh, I get to travel 250 days a year. So I get to experience so much of the world. I wish I could live uh, more times than just once. That's my big, regret, but we're all in the same boat on that one. <laughs> that one. Uh, and as far as my home, I'm very happy with my home in New York City. For me, this is the most international city. And, and for me, this means everything that it's because I feel like I'm an international person. Um, my favorite drug is, it sounds very corny, but it really is uh, adrenaline, <laughs> I think, mm -hmm. because it's the only drug I really use on a regular basis. <laughs> um, there's nothing like the experience of, of uh, getting on stage almost every night or every two nights I get this rush uh, that the way the way people describe what drugs like cocaine, which I never tried, but they say it gives you this this feeling of amazing feeling, um, which of course I don't recommend to anyone. I've never tried it, but I think that's what it, even better. That's the sort of feeling one gets on stage and it's just the best. Um, I don't know if I can answer that question. I, 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 one person might say I have charisma, another person might say I'm, I'm boring as hell, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, and me, as far as I'm concerned, sometimes I feel like I, I have a lot of charisma. Uh, I think when I play music, something I feel very comfortable, I feel like I've got something that I'm... And there are other times in the wrong situations where I feel like I'm a, a lump on a log and I don't feel very charismatic at all. So it depends on the situation. Uh, I think... I can imagine doing many things. I think uh, one of them that I would have a difficult time would be being a, a, a doctor. I think uh, b the sight of blood and cutting into people, into, I can't even watch on, on movies and television when people are, have blood and, and uh, so I don't think I could be a surgeon. Um, I admire people who can do that. Um, I, I would say there, there are a few people that have inspired me the most. Um, number one, my parents, of course, uh, they've influenced me the most. I have great parents um, who are not musicians, but psychologists. Um, but, uh, and then after that, my, my teacher, Joseph Gingold, who's been dead for a long time, but he was absolutely the one that sparked uh, my desire to be in music for my life. Um, and then on a daily basis, I'm inspired by all the musicians around me and the ones I work with, so it's no shortage of. Well, it, um, I think we're all we are we are all complex, and to to say one to main character trait would be difficult. I would say um, uh, probably a bit obsessive, uh, obsessive maybe um, in everything I do, whether it's sports or with music or with violin. Um, I like to get things right and and can get a little bit neurotic. The obsessive uh, with things. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, uh, it's. I'm very lucky. I've met a lot of interesting and famous people, um, including you know the president of the United States, uh, Obama, and some other presidents before. But actually, Obama is not in my phone book, though. But <laughs> I, am, I have played for him many times. Um, as far as um, famous people. Uh, I've, since I've done some some work with film and with charity, I've gotten to meet some very, uh, I would say the most classy famous person I've met uh, that's in my phone book, although he's, sadly he's not alive anymore, but he's still in my phone book, um, is Paul Newman, the actor who, is, who is, I did a lot of work with. And he was the one that handled his fame better than any famous person I know. Very modest and, and wonderful.